This is Adios. In November of 2023, I downgraded this account from an ultimate Ironman to a regular Ironman with one goal in mind. I want to take on the biggest challenges within RuneScape, and I want to obtain the best gear in the game. Follow along on my Ironman progress series. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 17 of my Iron Man progress series. I am so excited to be here today because you guys have just been crushing it in the comments and the likes and the subscriptions to my YouTube channel. Thank you all so much. Seriously, it really is uh, super motivating, but we're going to kick this video off with going and knocking out Monkey Madness 2. So let's get right into it. All right, the quest is underway, and honestly, I am so excited. I absolutely love this quest, so this should be a good one. Okay, I died because I didn't see that evidently I was supposed to pray melee, and so I got destroyed. And so now I have like 30 seconds to try and make it back to my gravestone. Please let me loot from here. No, I have to cross it. No! This is so depressing. No, no, dude, no. Let me loot it. Please let me loot it. Yes, 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 I got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we got it. Oh my gosh, we got it. Let's go. All right, so we have to kill Crook. I'm just doing the method where you flinch him because I have 32 HP and no food. All right, I think that should do it right there. And now I guess we take the remains and leave the dungeon. Easy. All right, it is time for everyone's favorite portion of this quest. And I remember I kind of failed for a while on my main account until I realized that I just needed to be patient and take my time with it. So that's what I'm gonna try this time. I'm just gonna try to be very, very patient and take my time. All right, climbing up the ladder on the first floor. No issues there, so far so good. All right, that looks like it's going to be second floor down. So far, so good. All right, this part scares me. We just have to click through quickly, quickly. Oh, the monkey didn't see me. All right, that's the second floor down. We got our six satchels. All right, so it says I just need to now place the satchels on this here. This seems a little scary, but I am standing on Runelight safe tile, so I should be okay. What the heck? It says that's a safe spot. Riddle me pissed. Riddle me down bad. Riddle me bamboozled. Rune light. What was that, man? That one is on you, not me. All right, I think I am home free. I am now placing the final satchel. And so I should be good to go. I think I can just purposely get caught. I mean, that's what rune light is telling me. Rune light, if you screw me over again, I am suing. <laughs> that's a total joke, by the way. If people don't understand sarcasm. Okay. Uh, leave the platform and there it is. Very nice. That really wasn't too bad. It probably took me, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes. So, um, wasn't super fast, but not too bad. Just another example of our zombie axe slapping, man. I am loving this thing. We're fighting, uh, gloves experiments right now. So hopefully it goes well. I guess it is kind of tough because you have to kill two at once. So uses up a little bit more food than I thought I might use. All right, let's try this again. I want everybody to ignore this grave info on the bottom right corner of my screen. This is my first try, okay? First try. You know, I just had a brilliant idea. Why don't I kill the demonic gorilla while the tortured is still up? That way I don't have to kill two of the demonics at the same time. Oh my gosh, look at me go. See, rune light, you should have told me to do that. It is just too easy for the kid. It's just too easy. All right, there is Gluff defeated. And dang, look at that juicy XP drop, man. 80K Slayer, 60K Agility, 50,000 Thieving, and 50,000 Hunter. That is really good. Um, that is Monkey Madness 2 completed. Surely, surely that gave us some levels. Let's see what we got. Royal Seed Pod going to be super helpful um, whenever I decide to do a little bit more Calvarion. Nice. There's level 72 Slayer. That actually, I think, was two levels. That's huge. Skeletal Wyverns, don't want to do those. Wow, 92 Thieving, that's a huge level. Now we have the access to the final floor in Pyramid Plunder. And I think that's all we got. But man, juicy rewards there. With Monkey Madness 2 completed, the first thing I want to do is get back to my Slayer task, which is Black Demons. 
which we can kill at the demonic gorillas. So um, before we do that though, we need to create our arc light because the arc light has a passive effect that when you're fighting demons, it gives you a 70% increase in accuracy and damage, and that's going to stack with our black mask. So we are about to shred these puppies. Oh, it's a beautiful day to kill some demonic gorillas, man. So this is the setup I'm going with. I've got the black mask with Bofa, and then once it changes its prayer style, like just now, it changed to protect from range. So we're gonna swap over to our arc light. Throw on piety, and we should just shred these things. And just a quick reminder, we are after the Zenite shards from these demonic gorillas. They are a one in 300 drop rate. They're worth over 12 mil each. So they're actually a pretty good drop even for main accounts, but we can use this to make Zenite jewelry, which I don't have the crafting level yet to make, but I'm thinking if I get a shard, it'll probably give me the motivation to go ahead and grind out my crafting. So that's what we're after. First demonic kill. We get a rune plate skirt. That's another thing to note. They drop a lot of really good alkables, which I need GP so bad right now. So um, that's a definitely a good thing for me to get. Yeah, I think that's going to be the last kill of the trip. How many kills did we get in our first trip, though? 13, it says. I don't know if that includes the quest ones or not, but I feel like that was a decent little first trip. You know, it's kind of like riding a bike. It came back quick. All right, we're doing a quick hard clue break. I forgot I had a hard clue in my bank, so I need to go ahead and knock this out before I do too many of the demonics because they drop them at a rate of one in a hundred. So I don't want to be wasting hard clues. All right, time to open the casket. Let's see what we get. We got a collection log. I'll take it, man. Ancient page one. I believe that's my first ancient page. And then a couple of uh, good little alchemists. Not bad. Hey, dragon scimitar. That's a one in 50. Not bad. Kind of Kind of cool to see that on the ground. 17 kills in that trip. We are slowly getting better. Third trip down and just look at the alkables from that one trip, 270K. This is really good. Ooh, two magic seeds. Seems like that is probably very rare. Two spirit seeds, dude, that has to be so rare. I'm about to look. Do I even wanna look? I'm scared to look. One in 625. So we got the one in 416 magic seed and now the one in 625 spirit seed. I'm not going to complain though. Like it is what it is. I'm not even at drop rate yet for the uh, Zenite. So no complaining here. Oh yes, baby. Yes, sir. Let's go. We got the Zenite dude. Oh, it's so juicy. Oh, that pink text on the ground, the pop-up on the collection log, the CC going crazy. This is what RuneScape is all about, my boys. So taking a quick look at the collection log, it looks like I got my Zenite pretty close to around 100 KC. I did a few kills after that to finish the trip, but um, I got a little bit spoon. I got a little spoon, let's be honest. Um, it is what it is. Not horribly spooned, but a little bit spooned. And when we look at the jewelry, we've got a few options here. We could go with the Ring of Suffering pretty quickly because I, I can boost. Um, plus five so i'd only need to get to like level 84 uh that's an option but we also have the anguish here which is very very appealing to me because i have the bofa and i use range so much so i'm kind of thinking i'm going to go for the anguish first but before i can do any of that i've also got to get my uh, my magic level up because you have to have level 93 magic to enchant it and yeah, I can I can have a plus five boost on that pretty easily as well, but um, we still have to get all the way to level 88 magic. So we have a lot, a lot of work to do now, boys. All right, so we've got two caskets to open, both a medium and a hard. Let's start with the medium. That is terrible. On to the hard, that is also terrible. All right, well, first and foremost, we need to get 18,000 buckets of sand so that we can get enough molten glass to get our crafting up. I'm also bringing the spells for magic imbue so that I can try and get a little bit of passive magic XP during this because we need to get a lot of magic XP right now. All right, we are out of run energy, but we have just over 11,000 buckets of sand and we're gonna go ahead and claim what we have right now. All right, so there is 11,000 buckets of sand. That's gonna give us a little bit of a head start on training crafting. And for the magic, I've got a little other idea up my sleeve. All right, so as usual, to convert all of our buckets of sand into molten glass, we're going to be casting the super glass make spell. And I'm gonna be doing just enough of this so that I have something to AFK. And when I'm not AFKing, I'm gonna be training magic now. 
and I'm going to show you the method in just a second. Just need to squeak in a quick TOA break before we start training magic. Let's see what we get. All right, so in order to train my magic level, I think I want to try out the new Scurious boss. This was just added to the game and it gives a lot of magic XP or any attack style that you choose to use, but I will be doing it for magic. Uh, the reason I think this would be good is because, first of all, it's way cheaper than bursting monkeys or something like that, so I'll be saving a ton of GP, but I'll also make a good amount of GP from it because it drops so many rune items. And on top of that, it has a one in 25 chance at medium clue scrolls, and because I want to go for Ranger Boots eventually anyway, to me it just kind of makes sense to try and stack up a bunch of caskets. So, I think that's what we're going to go test out, see if it works, and uh, if, it, if it goes well, I'll probably stick with it all the way to level 88 magic. If I hate it, I probably won't. So I started out by using my new zombie axe and just doing some melee kills, and on KC number 29, I got the Scurrious Spine. So in order to convert this into the Bone Staff, you have to use it with a Battle Staff, and it's only one Chaos Rune per cast. So it's, it's really, really cheap at magic XP. And I've been getting about 100,000 magic XP per hour doing this boss. So it, it's really good XP rates. And it's actually quite a bit of fun once you get the bone staff. So again, I don't know if I'll get bored of it, but right now I'm enjoying it. And also I think it has one of the coolest looking pets in the entire game. It is very rare. It's a one in 3,000 drop to get the pet, but the, it, it just looks so cool. I would love to get that if, if we got lucky. All right, very nice. We just got our first medium clue. Again, I'm going to be getting a lot of these because it drops at a rate of 1 in 25. And to make it interesting, I think I'm just going to stack up all the caskets and uh, we'll open them at the end. All right, there is our second Scurrious Spine on KC number 37. Hey, there's another clue scroll. Very nice. Hispori kill of the day. Two quorms. Not bad. Hey, there is level 83 magic. Already getting our first level here at Scurrious. I'm just kind of noticing right now that there's a lot of new content that's going to have a major impact on the progression of Iron Man accounts in the future that hasn't been in the game for the majority of content that you see on YouTube for Iron Man progression series. So, I mean, just having access to the zombie axe and the warp scepter and now Scurrious, I mean, these are pretty major additions to the game that um, I'm excited that I get to include these in my Iron Man series. There is clue scroll number three. Let's go knock this out right quick. Well, we ended up getting the 1 in 100 cheese drop from Scurrious, which I thought was kind of cool, so I decided to hang on to. And then we also got our third Scurrious Spine. So I've had a chance to do some AFKing, so I decided to go ahead and try magic training at Nightmare Zone. Not the most efficient thing in the world. I'm only getting 21k per hour, but it, I mean, it definitely adds up. And I'm just doing this on a normal rumble, and I'm using these super magic potions and then the absorption method with a locator orb. So super, super AFK and, you know, a decent little chunk of magic XP. Yeah, spory kill of the day. We just got level 90 farming the big level, which allows us to grow redwood trees, which we've already been doing anyway because we can boost, but don't tell Jack. So a quick reminder, we're looking for level 87 magic so that we can boost up and enchant a Zenite. And we're also looking for level 88 crafting so that we can easily boost without having to use a stew to make the Zenite necklace. So I ended up needing 5,400 more buckets of sand. I'm well set on giant seaweed, so don't need any more of that. But I went back to the sand mine and I got another 5,400 buckets of sand, cost a bit of GP. And then I went back to doing the super glass make spell as we've all seen before. And I actually ended up getting level 83 crafting while doing that as well as level 85 magic. So it actually gives a decent little chunk of XP while you're doing it. And I also was doing magic imbue while casting that spell, which was nice. All right, so with that, I think we just finished up doing all of our super glass making. I never use all of my buckets of sand because I'm weird and I like to have a few left over, but we have over 25,000 molten glass now, which is a lot of molten glass. So here's the plan, boys. What we're gonna do is whenever we have time to AFK, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna do this on 25,000 molten glass. We're gonna convert these into lantern lenses for the crafting XP, and again, we're going for level 80, I think I said 88 crafting. Um, and when we're not AFKing and we're being active, we're going to go kill Scurrious, which is right now. So let's go kill Scurrious. Very nice. There's clue scroll number four from Scurrious. 
All right, so there is KC number 100 at Scurrius going by pretty quick, and we've gained a good little chunk of magic XP while we've been here. So for anyone curious how much money you can make from Scurrius, here's 100 KC. The loot tracker shows exactly 800K, but as an Iron Man, I'm more interested in what the high alk value of some of this stuff is. So here's all the rune items that I've gotten. So it looks like about 500K is how much I'll actually be making from Scurrius once I uh, alk all of this. Of course, I've probably spent at least 300k in chaos runes, so really not too much profit. Um, but I mean, it's better than having to spend all the money on runes and not getting anything back. All right, so I haven't really been talking about it, but we've been keeping up with our approval at Miscellanea Kingdoms every single day. Um, but our coffer is down to 960k, so I don't know, it's probably been like 10 days or something since I set it up. We're about to go deposit more cash and we're going to claim our rewards, which I've never done before in my entire RuneScape adventure on both accounts. So I'm excited to see what kind of rewards we got. All right, so first and foremost, we're going to go ahead and deposit some cash in here. Uh, maybe like, oh man, I don't know. I'll do another 500k. And then in the meantime, let's go ahead and collect our resources and see what we got. All right, so, man, that is a lot of herbs. Look at that. That is just so much free herb lore XP. I mean, it's 75K a day, so I guess I shouldn't say free, but that is really nice. And then we got 2,100 teak logs. That's going to be good for teak planks. Obviously, we got some random seeds in here and really not many nests at all. I kind of thought I'd get more nests than that. But yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty dang good. And just to reiterate, the way that I am funding my kingdom is by doing a daily Corrupted Gauntlet run. And so here's our run of the day. Let's see what we get. Six Crystal Shards, not bad. Hey, there is Scurrious Spine, I believe number three, um, here on KC number 104. Okay, so I saw a very interesting post on Reddit that said that you can get like 180,000 XP per hour in magic by doing rcs library now that favor has been removed i have no idea if this is true but that is like double the xp rate of scurrious so if this is true i mean it is definitely worth doing so we're gonna try it right quick i'm gonna give you a little trial run uh, so that you guys don't have to do it and we're gonna see if uh, there's any validity to this claim there was definitely some validity to this claim it is absolutely cracked doing the Arceus library to gain magic XP. Of course, the, the amount of XP that you get per book scales with your magic level. So I don't know what the rates would look like at other magic levels, but for a while I was getting over 200,000 magic XP. It did kind of die down. And my RNG, I, I actually think was kind of bad. I had seven or eight times where I got the same book back to back. So I, I feel like I could actually get luckier and probably sustain over 200,000 magic XP per hour. But Scurrius is dead to me. This is the way to go. Well, this is pretty unfortunate. Um, RCS Library is bugged right now. And it's not just Runelight. I went and talked to Biblia. And she's telling me that this book that I'm looking for right now, which is the scroll, is on the southwest top floor bay. I have checked every single shelf in here. It is not here. So I, I was looking on Reddit. It looks like somebody else had this same issue a couple days ago. And straight up, uh, it's just a bug. So I submitted a bug report. Hopefully they get it fixed. Uh, but just taking a look at the XP rates, 186,000 magic XP per hour. Absolutely insane. I gained 139,000 magic XP while being here. So I guess my only option right now is to wait for the books to change location so that I can go back to the RCS library. And I don't want to drop any of these books because I have like a full set right now. So... I don't have much to do, and so when I don't have much to do, I decided, you know what, let's go ahead and open these medium caskets from Scurrius, since I am not going to go back there. First casket, crap. Second one, we get a clue scroll, or I'm sorry, a collection log. Taibo one-eye teleports, I'll take it. Crap, and crap. Well, I guess I'll just do some Corrupted Gauntlets since I basically don't have an inventory right now. I feel like I'm an Ultimate Iron Man again. All right, rune crafting break to send a Corrupted Gauntlet. Let's see what we got from this one. That's pretty bad. Felt lucky, so I decided to send one more CG for the boys. And I should not have felt lucky. Actually, that's not bad. Two rune plate bodies and 95k cash. I'll take it. So other than the cost of staminas, I am spending nothing to train my magic right now. And I am getting near 200,000 XP per hour, which is crazy because that is just as good as bursting monkeys 
and the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels. And obviously that's like 4 GP per XP. So I did the math and for me to get the level that I need to enchant the Zenite, it would be like 12 million GP that I am saving by doing the Arceus library right now. So this method is genuinely OP. All right, so with this book right here, we should get ourselves a magic level. There's level 86 magic. I just need one more level so that I can boost up for the enchantment. All right, so we are finishing up another session here at the Arceus Library. And with a, just a few uses of our books here, let's see how many more do we need. One more maybe, one more. There it is, there's level 87 magic, so we can now enchant. I'll probably just toss the rest of these in uh, RC, but I just wanna show you guys before we leave here, the final XP per hour was 207,000 XP per hour in this final session that we did. I'll add that to the canvas so you can see it a little better, but my goodness, 207,000 XP per hour. Uh, at my magic level right now with my current gear, I my max hit is I believe like a 32 or something like that with ice burst. Basically, it comes out to about 195,000 XP per hour. So this was 12,000 magic XP per hour, more than bursting monkeys, and it was 100% free, other than the cost of stamina. That is insane. This method is extremely good. Realistically, I don't know if I could do this like for for a, a good amount of hours. The amount that I did as is already got me kind of bored and tired of it. But if you just need a few levels and you're an Iron Man, highly recommend. Now we just have to finish up the crafting grind, starting out with level 85 crafting gear. Well, I actually ended up running out of molten glass, so I ran back to the sandstone mine, got a couple thousand more buckets of sand, and I'm just sitting here doing super glass make again. So seems like I just can't get enough of this molten glass no matter what I do. So an update on the gains, we have gained 1.2 million crafting XP in this episode alone, as well as 700,000 magic XP. So the gains are coming in. So I know that I told you guys that I was going to be boosting up to make the Necklace of Anguish, but I didn't tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing. So for crafting, we are going to need a Mushroom Pie, which means we're going to need the 1 in 100 Soluscape Cap, which I'm about to go work on right now. And then for magic, we're going to need an Ancient Brew. You can pretty much, I mean, if you had the Herb Lore level, you could make this yourself. I don't. So the only other way for me to get this is by killing Phantom Muspa. It's a 1 in 10 drop rate. So we need to go do Secrets of the North so that we can have the 1 in 10 drop at getting the Ancient Brew. So up first we went for the Soliuskep Cap, which is a 1 in 100 on Fossil Island. You have to chop these little mushroom trees and try not to die from all the monsters attacking you. Hey, there it is. We got ourselves the Soliuskep Cap. Now let's just pray to God that we don't burn this pie. All right, here it is. Moment of truth. This always makes me so nervous. Please do not burn it. Oh, we're just too good. It's just too easy for us. So up next, we need to go do the Secrets of the North quest, and we have a couple of pre-quests that we have to do before we can do it. So let's go knock them out. All right, so there is the Curse of the Empty Lord mini quest completed. We got ourselves the um, Very Fashion Scape Ghost Robes. Now we just need to go do the Dark General, I think is the name of the next one. Dark Shadow, something like that. I don't know. We're just going to go do it real quick. All right, so that is the General Shadow completed. That was the name of the quest, the General's Shadow. But we got it done. We got a juicy 2K uh, Slayer XP from it. And the final quest that we need to do before we can do Secrets of the North is Devious Mines. So we're going to go knock that out. All right, there is Devious Mines completed. Well, we're working on Secrets of the North right now, and we're going into the final boss fight. And I've actually never killed Phantom Muspa on my main account other than the one time for the quest, which was quite a while ago, so I'm hoping this goes well. too bad um i definitely 
Definitely need some type of better DPS than just the one-way switch. I think I need that Arceus spell that kind of drains the soul split. But anyway, not bad. All right, there is Secrets of the North completed. Another big master quest in the books. We get level 74 agility from that. And I guess that's the only only level, but we did get a ton of XP. And so now um, we need to go back to Phantom Muspa. Um, we need to go get the Ancient Brew so that we can boost our magic level. So we swapped over to the Arceus spellbook so that I could use Thralls as well as the Greater Corruption spell. And I just worked on doing the step back method where whenever Muspa is in melee phase, you step a tile away one tick before he attacks. And basically you negate all melee damage by doing this. Hey, we've done it. Oh, those things still hurt you? All right, well, there's Phantom Muspa kill number one. We got the Dragon Plate Skirt drop and a lot of soul runes, which is pretty nice. And the new collection log pop up for the Ancient Essence. Four minutes and 59 seconds. I don't know what I'm doing to make that so, 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 so slow, but hopefully I can speed that up. That feels like a new PB. Let's see. It is, wow, by like an entire minute just about, there's a 318 personal best. So we're getting a little faster, and we got the Ancient Brew. Let's go, man. Um, so now all we need is just one measly little crafting level. Actually, I want these summer pies too. Those might be, those might be handy someday. Um, but anyway... Let's go get that final crafting level, and then we're ready to make the Zenite. All right, there it is, level 88 crafting. So with that, let's get to it, boys. And uh, just a little tally. Let's see, I made over 5,500 empty light orbs, and I've made a total of 52,000 lantern lenses now to get that crafting level, which is absolutely ridiculous. But let's go make the Zenite. So the first thing that we have to do is get an onyx in order to make a zenite. And in order to do that, we're going to be using the typical Iron Man method of buying chaos runes and selling them back for Tockle. And I'm going to just be buying these at Prift Dennis with chaos rune packs. Uh, it is a little bit more expensive, probably like 10% more per rune. But um, honestly, I don't have time uh, to sit here and hop worlds for an hour and a half. So we're just going to be buying one inventory per world. We need 24,000 um, of these chaos runes. So let's get to it. All right, there we go. 24,000 chaos runes. We're also going to pull the chaos runes from our bone staff, which should give us enough to buy the onyx. And it looks like that costs us about 2.4 mil. So not too terrible. Definitely pricey though. All right, so it's time for the fun part. Time to sell all these chaos runes for Tockle. And we've got our Karamja Gloves 3 on. We're going to trade this guy swap our left click to cell 50 and then we just spam click and we are looking for 260,000 tackle in order to buy the onyx the hand does not feel good selling all of these chaos runes off right now but we've almost got it let's see there we go 260,000 tackle 300 chaos runes left to spare let's go buy our onyx all right so now we just trade this guy right here the value of one uncut onyx is 260,000 tackle. Let's buy it. Oh, very nice, man. It feels good. It feels really good. So uh, up next, we need to cut this thing and create a zenite. All right, so let's go ahead and use our chisel on the onyx. And now we've got an uncut onyx. Now let's teleport over to Apatol. All right, so we're down here with our zombie Grigory, and I think we just use the zenite shard on the wall of flame. And you want to fuse your onyx and zenite shard. Yes, fuse them. There it is, the uncut zenite. I've never owned one of these ever in the game. Feels good. All right, here we go. Seems like every single Iron Man uses the Edgeville furnace to do this, so I'm just going to stick to the uh, trend here. We're going to go ahead, eat our mushroom pie to boost our crafting level. Then we're going to cut the zenite. Beautiful. Then let's go ahead and smelt this into a zenite necklace. Mm. Now, before we do anything else, though, let's boost our magic level and let's enchant this. And boom, just like that, we've got ourselves the necklace of anguish. Oh, man, this is such a massive, massive, massive upgrade. So as you can see here, well, let's take a look at the stats. All right. So just looking at the stats, we get plus 15 to the uh, range attack bonus. 
But the big thing here is plus five range strength bonus. So it's a huge, huge upgrade, and it's actually the biggest DPS upgrade you can get from a Zenite. So uh, definitely a good one to get first. All right, so we're potted up. Let's take a look at our max hit with just the Amulet of Glory. It's a 37. Of course, that's not rigor. That's just eagle eye. Now let's check it out with the Necklace of Anguish. 39. So that is two max hits just from the necklace which is a massive, massive upgrade. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you factor in that every single hit has a roll to go up two uh, hits higher, it's a massive increase. All right, guys, I am feeling pretty good about this range setup right now. We look like an absolute G. We are ready to do a lot of in-game PVM content with this range setup, no doubt about it. I still wanna upgrade our magic and our melee setup, but uh, we'll save that for another video. So for now, we're going to go ahead and call it right here, guys. Thank you all so much for tuning in, and we're going to catch you in the next one. Adios.